hearts are trumps. Hearts are... Hearts are trumps. Yes, Herr Leutnant, hearts are trumps. Always attack! Always attack! <laughs> Tastes like piss. It's lukewarm. Put lotion on it, you'll get a sunburn. Butter for the fish. That's funny. Butter for the fish. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's better. That's right, Herr Leutnant. No, you should play spades, not hearts. Play a spade now. Yeah, always a deck. Yeah, always a deck. Go on, it's your Hi. turn. Hey, la, la. No, no. Oh. Oh. Try me on. Yeah. Sneak away somewhere for a little fun. <laughs> Grazie. Yeah. Come on. You can't hold a spade there. Come on. Hey, Fritzi, just where the hell did you get that camel piss? It was a present from my cousin Frida. For ten marks, I get a bottle for you. With that kind of money, I can buy a bottle of cognac. <laughs> you know, whenever I get a terrific hand, I also get a terrific heart on. <laughs> I told you we should have left him at the clinic, but no. My God, sometimes I think that those dumb Tommies smashed your head instead of his. Yeah, yeah, all right. It's his last day here. <laughs> Let him play all he likes. Wife's in for a big surprise when he gets home. Lupo! The doctor said he shouldn't drink anything. Ah, bullshit. He's going to have a headache anyway. Good Italian wine. What's the time? Little after one, still time for a piece of ass, Herr Leutnant. Yeah. Look at all the women here. Great pussy. What about the birthday present for your wife? That won't take long, huh? Give me. Shit, shit. Battalion parade. Hey, wait. Help me with What's the big now? occasion this time, then? A medal presentation. It's a pain in the ass. Hey, that's my Easy, easy. Turn me around. What kind of shitty watch did you sell them? <laughs> waterproof. Supposed to be waterproof. <laughs> you still have to wind it up, stupid. Oh, no. All right, set him down. You get the chair. Careful. Pick him up. We'll carry him like Careful. this. Careful of his leg. All right. Pick him up. <laughs> Just like the pole. How about the chair? <laughs> Good Italian wine. Who's got my jacket? Uh. Ah, the wine's as warm as fish. Oh, shut up. Uh, come on. Up these stairs we go. My jacket. Get his jacket. Um, Here, I got it. Our last campaign in Africa was a resounding success. And if the English army should ever again attempt to cross the banks of the Nile, I know you will again do your duty. Crucial to the campaign were the stormtroopers. You were chosen because you are the best. Never forget that. And now, new missions await you. But before you will form the core of a new elite company, I am rewarding you with a medal by order of the Fuhrer for your outstanding contribution in the difficult and glorious campaign at El Alamein. Men, this is a new leader for the first platoon, second company. Herr Leutnant von Witzland, step forward. Stormtroopers to be decorated. Step forward. <laughs> but 
Bataillon, attention! Good work. Herr Leutnant von Witzlern, decorate your men. What excuse have you for being late for the parade, Corporal? Hospital visit to your predecessor, Herr Leutnant. A hero must never be late, Corporal. Remember that. In the future. Sergeant, do you plan to accept the Führer's award with an unbuttoned collar? Yes, Herr Leutnant. The award is revoked. Battalion, attention! Fall in! Stormtroopers, be ready to move out in half an hour. Battalion, dismiss! Don't leave me here. I, I want to go. Take me with you. All right, move on, move on. Dearest Clara, Russia, 2,000 kilometers separate us. The distance is frightening. I won't hear from you again for quite a while. However, you should still write, even though it will take a long time for your letters to arrive. Will it be hard for you? I know if you had your choice, I'd be sitting in a leather chair in your father's office, instead of on a bunk in a freight car. Please forgive me and try to understand my happiness. The uncertainty of the last few months has vanished. All of a sudden, my life has meaning, a goal. Before, everything seemed so unimportant. But now, as I get closer to the front, my melancholy disappears. All the feelings I felt unworthy of, especially my feelings for you, burn bright again. You should see me now, surrounded by these brave men of ours. They're my men, and I love them. Yes, I love them, because I know that only through hard work will I earn their respect. But if you saw them, their smell would make you faint. Eh, eh? Did you forget how to count? Why the hell did you give him that pen? I thought it was good, yeah? You know what, Lupo? Crazy as he is, plays a lot better than you. Yeah, well, everybody screws up at first. Don't let it worry you, huh? Even Rollo is no match for my brilliant strategy. Hey, those are mine! I said... Not anymore, they're not. Sure and sure like here. Yeah. Where the hell is this shit crate headed for, anyway? Well, how about Stalingrad, meine Herren? That's great! It's time to teach the Ruskies a lesson. This gang will take the fucking city in three days. Cheers! <laughs> Maybe you ought to lead us, asshole. <laughs> 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 Didn't know any better. I'd swear we already passed the same damn place about ten hours ago. Yeah, yeah. Russia's a big country. After the war, every man gets what he wants. Ten women and a hundred acres is what I'm asking for. Out here? Not even if they gave it away. Stay in your lousy little town. Just look at that. They're already working for us. 
Dig, dig, faster. Hey, how do you say faster in Russian? Davai, Davai, and Rokivier is all you have to know. Rokivier, Rokivier. Hey, Adolf's going to build me a highway all the way to Kirchhoff or whatever the hell you call it. This country would look better with a fleet of good German trucks driving through it, huh? That's enough, Reiser. I find it so touching that Herr Leutnant is keeping us company in this freight car. May I ask you a question? Please. Is this your first time to the front? Everybody starts somewhere. Should be a lot of fun. I'll make a bet with you, Herr Leutnant. I survived the war and you don't. All right. For what stakes? From you. Two cases of water. <laughs> All right. How does he pay if he's dead? Even in Stalingrad yet. you like. The best way is to write to the Führer.
Lieutenant von Witzland, Stormtrooper Battalion 336, Second Company, First Platoon. Welcome to Stalingrad. Well, it's about time they sent us a few trained specialists. Allow me to present Sergeant Fluger of Storm Battalion 179, who has just returned from Voronets. I'm very glad you're with our group, Herr Leutnant. Now let's teach the Ruskies how to swim across the Volga. Cigarette? No, thank you. Herr Hauptmann, I'd like to report an incident at the loading platform when we arrived here last night. I've heard all about it. It seems you have a great fondness for the Russians. I advise you to forget it. See that all the men are issued with ammunition and hand grenades, and call the officers for a briefing. Carry on. Your uncle, Herr Oberst von Witzland, is a good friend of mine. He asked me to look after you here. God is with us. Those words are engraved on every German soldier's belt buckle. And God is with us. Oh, shit, I never noticed it. There is no work that is holier than the defense of our divine Christian values against the scourge of Eastern Bolshevist barbarism. And that's what sets the German soldiers apart from the Bolsheviks, who have no place for God on their belt buckles. You are never alone, even when you find yourself deep inside the enemy's territory. I'll follow you. Come on! Come on! This is crazy! They're firing at the wrong outfit! Those fucking gunners are blind! Right. Easy. Follow me and do exactly as I do, you understand? Uh, man, that's our objective. We have to take that factory at any price. But first we have to get that... that machine gun blasting on the right there. When the artillery hits, the Ruskies piss in their pants. Did you see anything, Hauptmann? Nothing yet. We're at Frieda 20. Cease fire immediately. I repeat, cease fire immediately. Where are the five assault guns? We can't see anything from here. Nothing at all. As you order, Herr Mayor. All clear to target two. Fire only when I give the signal and maintain absolute silence. Is that clear? Follow me. Forward! It wasn't my fault. Now the Rusties know where we are. I'm sorry. Kevin! 
It's no use, he's gone. Take cover! He told me their guns are better than ours. They never jam. Chin up. Kill a couple of Russians with it. It's impossible. Get a smoke grenade. Throw out a smoke grenade! We've got to take out that gun. Fritz, the smoke grenade! Yeah. He's right, Feldman. It's not possible. Feldman, now's your chance to make up for your mistake. Feldman, you want your wife and children to be proud of you, don't you? When you go back after the war? <laughs> I'll go, Herr Hauptmann. No, I want to go. I won't let you down, Herr Hauptmann. I know, Feldman. We'll cover you. Here. Now go! Otherwise, Feldman owed us that. All right, men. Come on, let's show them. Fluger, you go out first, for Witzel and follow him. We must take that factory. Ready, men? Forward! You cover us and shoot anything that moves. Let's go! Dieter? Dieter? Dieter! Ah! 
I I shot him. I couldn't see. Go on, shoot me. Andy! Go on, man! I'll give you a damn shit, son. Shoot him! Put your hands up! And I will give you a... Come on! Come on! I shot Dieter! I shot him! I shot Dieter! Shut up! I couldn't see! It was an accident! I couldn't shut see! Up. Shut up! Shut up! Who cares what you did? Shut up and forget it! Don't think about it. I did the same thing once. That happens in close combat. If he'd been a Russian, you'd be a corpse now. Mom. How sad that I'm still Не уходи. Ну, ну, ну что же, что же я буду? Я вот теперь, что, что наконец-то мы, мы с тобой останемся. Да. И все. Я не... in my pants. I couldn't control it. Yeah. You're not the only one. Yeah. den Namen von Stalin selber, aber denken Sie nur nicht, dass ich deswegen dort losmarschiert bin. Die könnte ja auch ganz anders heißen, sondern nur, weil dort ein ganz wichtiger Punkt ist. Dort schneidet man nämlich 30 Millionen Tonnen Verkehr ab. Darunter fast 9 Millionen Tonnen Ölverkehr. Dort fließt der ganze Weizen zusammen aus diesen gewaltigen Gebieten der Ukraine und des Kuban-Gebietes, um nach dem Norden zu trans transportiert zu werden. Dort ist das Manganerz befördert worden. Dort war ein gigantischer Umschlagplatz. Den wollte ich nehmen. Und wissen Sie, wir sind bescheiden. Wir haben ihn nämlich. Es sind noch ein paar ganz kleine Plätzchen noch da. Nun sagen die anderen, warum kämpfen Sie da nicht? Weil ich kein zweites Verdun machen will. Sondern weil ich das lieber mit ganz kleinen Stoßdrucks mache. Die Zeit spielt dabei keine Rolle. Es kommt kein Schiff mehr die Wolga hoch. Das ist das Entscheidende. Applaus 
still have to keep an eye on the Ruskies. Just small combat patrols. What do you say? There are just 62 of us left. Here, for your collection. There were 450 men when we first started out. Tell everyone. Boost morale. At least we managed to get Ruskies stove. I, I stutter after every attack. Better to stutter than to end up dead. You, 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 yeah. Congratulations, boy. You're still alive. Have a smoke. I don't have to drink for courage, asshole. What are you thinking? Nothing at all. Because when you start to think, you go crazy. So I don't think. Fritzy, have a drink. There's a switch inside your ear. Just give it a turn, and it shuts off the brain. <laughs> I'm sorry. Happy you can still cry. Yeah. Go on, have a good cry. It oils the motor. <laughs> What's your name, kid? Mona. We've got lots of them. At least until the next attack. But I bet you're a survivor, Mula. <laughs> GGM. You okay, Gigi? Something going on out there. What is it? There are a couple of Ruskies out there, Herr Leutnant. They tried to pick up their wounded, so I started shooting. <laughs> they would do the same Quiet! Thing. Anyone speak Russian? I do, Herr Leutnant. Ask them if they would agree to a short truce, 10 or 20 minutes. Time to pick up the wounded. Excuse me, Herr Leutnant, but that's forbidden. I'm sure you know that. The captain would never allow it. Shut up, Willa! Shut up! Shut up! You stupid asshole! You asshole! <laughs> I, I, I was just trying to explain that the regulations forbid it. In this city, no one gives a damn about regulations. Go on, Volk. That's an order. Nash Lieutenant Sprashivayet! Tobi Dashni, it is a running enemy! We will hold you! No, we должны выходить первые! They were asked to go out first. I'm not going out there. Me neither. Amy Holtz? Yes, Herr Leutnant. Pass it on, short ceasefire. We'll need medics. B1 to Beehive. Short ceasefire, we need medics. I'll go with I you, repeat. sir. Short ceasefire, we need medics. You better stay here. They can handle it. You're just like my son. How old is your son? Three.
пошел. Пусти. А ну останься. Назад. Алёша, все будет хорошо. Бежи, мы тебя вытащим. Все будет хорошо. Что ты делаешь? Я тебе помогу. Не умирай. The Russians wanted to counterattack, I saw it. And so I shot back. That's a lot of bullshit. No, it's true, Herr Leutnant. I should have you caught marshaled. Yeah, go ahead and do it. And I'll tell them what happened here. Forbidden contact with the enemy. We don't need a court martial, Herr Leutnant. Just give him to the Ruskies to deal with. You'll get in the newspapers, in the obituary section. Edgar, wake up. Stay alert. My shaving kit. Who's got my shaving kit? Oh, you're pretty enough. <laughs> you should be cover girl for the army magazine. Drops here. Careful. <laughs> False alarm! The Ruskies were shooting at the grub. Ah, the mail! Come on, give it here. Reiser! Here! Amy Holtz! No letter for me, I yeah, suppose. Here, Leuten. Flüge? Looks here. like the usual hospice. Yeah, huh? the way they get the recipes. They should eat this crap themselves. Oh, quit complaining, Hollow. Yes, I know. We are the beasts from Germany who invaded Russia.
Rolo, I have something for you. No mail today? Huh? Shit! She wrote me again that she's had a baby boy. She wrote me that in her last letter. But huh, not a word about the cow who's supposed to calve. Oh well. She's not the brightest in the world. She wasn't the best in school, needless to say. But the shortest one. She got married to a dwarf. Very <laughs> funny. But she's great in bed. <laughs> ah, if only I knew that my cow was okay. I'd feel a lot better. Listen to this. Someone's been stealing our eggs. They should hang the bastard. You should talk. You loot every dead Russian. That's a totally different matter. Here we're at war. Oh, and I have a little letter for you. <laughs> <laughs> Asshole. From your wife? Yeah, she's at home guarding our furniture. Schalke defeated Hanover in the last match. Alemania lost once again. <laughs> That's what your letter's about? Yeah, after the war I'm going off to play for Bremen. It's true! I even had a trial for them once. <laughs> Soccer is bullshit. I got a rowing boat, two-seater. Uh, my wife does all the rowing while I sit back and enjoy myself. By evening, she's too tired to nag. <laughs> you like rabbits? Bashir. Loka. Bozi. Bad. Mm. Oche. Clono. Filgard. Alata et la salarima. Tai, I make. Shoemaker. Father shoemaker. Rabbit's fur. Quiet! What's quiet in Russian? In Russian? To chig doshe. Poppy seed. Mm. Huh? Hey, Rollo! I got some beeswax today, the real thing. Good for your rheumatism. Something happened at home? Attack? Hmm. You could say that. While I'm risking my ass in this shithole, my wife is screwing around with a Frenchman. A prisoner of war. I just can't believe it. How do you know? Yeah. Maybe it's just a rumor. My wife wrote it to me herself. She wanted to tell me before my mother-in-law wrote me. Shit! We beat them in six weeks. Now they're getting even with us. Of course, she's scared. I'll make these Ruskies pay. But he's a Frenchman. I don't give a shit. What's the matter? Nothing, just you shut up! His wife left him. Better no one knows.
Uh, kiss my ass! I know you all hate me, and especially you, Herr Leitner, because you think I'm a stupid farmer. Oh, Leda. Ah, leave me alone. You're my best man. Without you, I'd be dead. You'd have won your bet. See anyone? You'll be dead. <coughs> and you too. Rookie Vek! Rookie Vek! You can only say it correctly. Is he dead? <coughs> yes, of course. You're experts at murdering. <coughs> Not a sound, or I'll shoot you. If you shoot me, you'll die too. You'll never get out of here. Come on. This is the wrong way. Don't try anything. I'll make a deal with you. I help you find your people, and you let me go away. How do I know I can trust you? I could have killed you any time. With this? Yes, with that. 
Wait, what's in your other boot? A spoon. Would you like to keep it, Herr Leutnant? How come you know my language? <laughs> All right. I give you my word as an officer. If you get me out of here, I'll let you go. You go first. Of course. Slowly. I won't forget this. Good. Great. Where is Emich Holz? здесь были. Да, пошли этим путем. Береги себя, девочка. Да, спасибо, дядя. Ешь, маленькая. Смотрите, девки, хлеб. Ешьте, ешьте, смотрите. Вот хлеб, хлеб. Lord is with you, my Lord. Everything will be all right. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you, my son. Our sins be forgiven. Medics! Medics! Amen. What kind of shit house is this? Who's helping the wounded around here? A couple of medics. The Ruskies made a big breakthrough somewhere. And all because of those fucking Romanians. Get me out of here! My boots! My boots! Get me out of here! Try to get someone! Easy now. My boots! Get me out of here! We need a doctor! It's no use asking. A doctor! 
We need a doctor! We need a doctor! I'm, I'm not a doctor. Over there. I... Get moving! Move! Go on! There. I'm not a doctor. Go on, get to her! I keep she telling you I'm are you not crazy? a doctor. Put the gun down! I'm not a doctor. You want him to I... die! Is that it? You want them all to die! Get to work! I'm not a doctor. Not another word! From anyone! Yes, Shut up! Get to work! Edgar, the doctor's here! Steady. Steady. Ah! 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 Help me! Drop your gun! Herr Hauptmann, if you will allow me to explain... It will not be necessary. We just came back from the front. Just keep quiet. We risked our lives for our Keep quiet! Damn it, Schroeder. What have you been doing with my bag? Give me my cap and jacket. And as for you, I expect you to send me a complete report about this outrageous incident. It will be done immediately. He is dead. It's all so pointless. The war is bullshit. You are under arrest. Put your weapons down. What's going to happen now? I didn't want this. Herr Hauptmann, I request to speak with the general in command. You think you're someone very special, don't you? However, it is your right. You damned Russian sympathizer. Escort them out. To sum it up, in a brief soldierly way, we're in the shit. Last night, the Russians established a bridgehead near the town of Katskaya, and now the Romanian division's cut off. They've broken through in the south, too. We've only got the 29th and 57th infantry battalions to hold them back. Undoubtedly, they'll try to close the circle, and if they succeed in tightening the gap around Kalaj, uh, it's the end for us, gentlemen. You can carry on smoking, Kruger. Herr Hauptmann, you must help me. Some of my men were arrested at the hospital. One of the men was severely wounded. Reiser lost control and threatened the medic. Is this what you call a proper report? Herr Hauptmann, we were caught in a trap. The entire Sixth Army is in a trap. Try and pull yourself together. Here we are deciding the fate of the entire campaign, and you're crying about a couple of men. Herr Hauptmann, do something! The men believed in you. They risked their lives for you. Are we nothing but pawns stuck in your rotten fucking war games? I apologize, Herr Gander. What is it? It's about the incident at the hospital. I'll have the lieutenant escorted out. This afternoon, some of my men used force to get preferential treatment for a comrade who was very seriously wounded and later died. Isn't this young von Witzland? A very nasty business you seem to be mixed up in. Will we be caught martial, sir? Hmm. This will certainly not go unpunished. You'll learn after a while. What the hell's going on here? Why isn't the road cleared yet? Look at all the medals on his tits. You like that, Rollo? Ask him if you can touch one of them. You asshole, it's your fault we're in this fucking place. Take it off! Save your energy for the front. That's where it's needed. And you! Move! Everyone in the truck! Move it! You too! But I... That's an order, so get moving! 
And because today is Christmas, I have a special treat for all of you. Every man gets a ration of bread. But only if you say please nicely. Well, say please, Private von Witzland. Please, Herr Leutnant. <laughs> please. Please, come on. Please. Merry Christmas. Insane. They'll never make it to the front. Move! Out of the dark! Get up! Move! Shoot! Over there. I don't care! Shoot! Leave him alone! I got him! The Ruskies will finish the job for you. Get out of my way! What's going on? Hellman. Get up! I will get away orders, you... What the hell do you think you're doing? Herr Hauptmann, the man checked his duty! Who are you to talk about duty? Hans, this is a fucking suicide mission! That's not for me. Go back home. I've had enough of this! I can't take any more! Fired man! Right. We don't want to be treated like shit anymore! No! Go on! Why don't you shoot us for breach of discipline? What? Just listen. Yesterday the Russian counterattacked to drive us out of Marinovka. Good for nothing matter. Despite very heavy losses, we managed to hold our position. Idiot. I'm sure the Russians are going to try another assault. But without your help, our defense lines won't hold. Why is this position so important? Marinovka is the best chance we've got to make a break through the Russian lines so we can link up with Herr General Oberst Holt's tanks. They are only a hundred kilometers away. And you all realize that we must break out of this damn place if we are to survive. I ask you, do you want to starve without fighting? Do you want to be responsible for the deaths of 300,000 of your comrades? Think it over, men. Aren't they worth fighting for? Not much of a choice. Fritz, we're going to make it. As long as you yourself lead us, we'll fight. But if you happen to get killed in action, all bets are off and we go our own way. I see. Very well, I agree. Comrades. We're going to give these prisoners a chance to redeem themselves. Every man will be honorably reinstated after the war, I give you my word. But you'll give me your word as an officer von Wietzland that you'll cooperate? Yes, Herr Hauptmann. Very well. Then collect your ammunition and form into two platoons. Volk will lead the first platoon, Müller the second. Fall out. Auto. They haven't a chance and you know it. Why not surrender? Do you know what would happen if we surrendered? Do we deserve any better? I'm not a Nazi, Otto. No. You. You're a lot worse, you lousy officers. You went along with it. Even though you knew the man on top was a maniac. I told you that when we were at Brest-Litovsk. Herman. Otto? If I ever get out of his life. I want to write to my wife that I forgive her. I had them write my wife. I was killed in action. It's for the best. Believe me. But... <coughs> We're sure to make it home. Someday. And then what? 
I'll tell you a little Christmas story. The last time I was home was exactly a year ago. Christmas leave. Because I destroyed three panzer tanks. And my wife and kids were waiting at the station. They were stranger to me than any of you. She tried to understand. The more she tried to understand, the more I hated her. <laughs> 